Okay, so auto traders sound very complicated, um, but I want to do is dismiss a few fears uh, and look at this alternative to traditional real estate investing uh, as an example. Um, so uh, let's let's crack on. We're going to look at some uh, advantages and disadvantages first. Um, there's always good and bad for everything that we do in life, whether it, you know when we're investing and buying um, properties or investing in stocks and that sort of thing. So we just got to be a little bit conscious of what we're doing. So what I want to do is first is look at the disadvantage of traditional real estate investing. Um, so so properties can be sort of quickly and easily sold without substantial loss in value. Can't be uh, quickly sold um easily um especially in this day and age my daughter's been trying to find a house for nearly a year now she keeps getting gazumped uh, and it's very very difficult real estate investors must be prepared to own a property for months and years especially if it will be leased out uh you know once an investor purchases a property it must be re you know rehabbed and maintained managed financing payments taxes insurance you know management fees maintenance cost you know it, it adds up uh one of those um sometimes you you feel as though it's one of those big uh heavy weights around your neck um I, you know most aggressive um investors purchase real estate based on minimum information really uh you know they don't know whether they've made a good deal until they pay for the property in some cases um and, you know, real estate investing involves taking on a great deal of financial and legal liability as well, number five there. Um, you know, even though investment properties may be in a corporation, there are often personal guarantees associated with the business and, you know, risk of losing incomes and profits and that sort of thing. So there's, there's a lot uh, that you know, works against um, sort of traditional real estate investing. Um, so that's... Just quickly move forward to advantages of futures markets, uh, and then we're going to look at disadvantages as well and how we can and how we've overcome them. So, um, advantages of futures markets is that they're very liquid. Okay, so there's there's a futures contracts, whether it be oil, natural gas, uh, they're the big ones right now because of what's happening in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, and gold. There's a large number of them traded. Uh, so we um, there's a constant presence of buyers and sellers in the market. Sorry, that was the auto trader uh, doing something behind the scenes there. Um, so and you know it, futures markets orders and everything like that. There's just so much liquidity. It happens really quickly. Uh, and you know, there's there's lots of brokers in there, and we we we've not exactly partnered, but we found a really good billion dollar broker that's international works, and then we've developed the software uh, to work on their platform because they've got good execution uh, and very liquid. So commissions on futures trades are very low and are charged when the position is closed. So compared to um, taxes and and all the other things that go on with when you're property investing, there's, there's, there's you know, there's, the, the costs are much lower. Um, you know, even with futures markets themselves, we can have, you know, exposure to things like energy futures, like oil, metals like gold or platinum, uh, you know, broader stock indexes like the S&P 500 or the DAX. You know, one of the one of my favorites at the moment is the is the German um, market. So, you know, there's this great diversification with no liability because you're in and out uh, and you don't you don't care. There's no emotion like there is when you're buying a property, because whether it goes up or down, if you, you know, you've got that uh, if, if, if the automated algorithm has said, right, you need to sell the British pound, which we're in at the moment, and I'll show you that, uh, then it doesn't matter. You're going to make money when it goes down. Um, you know, it's, futures markets are more efficient and fair as well. So um, especially with the platform that we've chosen, because we have what's called an MIT order, so it's hidden from the order book as well. Uh, and they're very, very good um, order 
tight and they you know those futures markets are more efficient and fair that way uh, and short selling is easier you know real assess real estate investors can only make profit when the house value goes up in theory you know very simplified i know um but in reality and uh, that's that's when uh a real estate investor can actually make some money but you know short selling is very easy and we're doing that right now on on 6b uh, which is the uh, the British pound futures and that auto trades in right now. I'm going to show you that shortly. So it all sounds very simple, but there are some disadvantages of futures trading. It can be too complicated to learn. And for most people, they don't have enough time. I'm sat here in front of six screens and I've been doing this for a living for a long time. Okay, for me, it's my it's my day job. Um, so I have enough time, but most people don't. Uh, it's very high tech these days, hard to access as well, unless you know uh, the right brokers and understand the right strategies. And, uh, you know, in the past, there was sort of high margin and cash requirements, um, but that's not the case anymore. So what we've been able to do is I've got a successful strategy that I've traded for, for a long time. and the, the, the technology over the last couple, couple of years have been available for, much, for me to actually automate that. So initially, uh, there was a very sort of personal reason for me to do that, to free up my time to actually do my strategy automatically. When I'm asleep, when I'm playing golf, uh, when I'm out to dinner, all that sort of thing works well for me. So, um, you know, Technology has advanced enough so that all of that messing around, all of that technical knowledge that you'd need to do, all of that learning, sitting in front of the computer uh, and all that sort of thing, it, it's pretty much been taken away. Uh, and I've spent a, a great deal of time and money over the last couple of years with developers to actually make it automated. Um, so, you know, in reality now, this, two neck, this, this new technology uh, over the last couple of years it's sort of developed one of our algorithmic trading strategies uh, for futures. It's totally automated and it just keeps beating like a heart 24 hours a day, five days a week. Okay, it doesn't trade the weekends. So, totally automated wealth growth strategy. And we're going to look at some. Uh, reports generated by Ninja Trader. Ninja Trader is the broker. We've just developed software that goes on top of that to automate and put trades on and off. So it's a third party broker and they are, they're the reports that they generate. This is where we get our sort of data from, if you like, and, and our performance. Um, so we let it run 24 hours a day during the weekdays um, on your computer, but to be honest, most of our clients run it on a, on a, a VPS server um, because you don't want power cuts. You don't want you, you know, for me, um, cleaner coming in and unplugging the computer or something ridiculous like that. You may laugh, um, but I, I, you know, um, pressing the wrong button on a mouse when she's cleaning the desk or whatever. It's, there's, there's lots of things. If it's on a server and I've got, I've got a couple of accounts, both on different servers, and they're just working away 24 hours a day. And who's it for? It's, you know, it's there's no experience needed. And that's the thing. Um, anyone who wishes to take control of their financial future and have that alternative, um, you know, whether an individual corporate entity or, or, or sort of family office is an alternative to traditional type of investing, really. And that's uh, sometimes when you, you got the money in your bank, you know, I, I got some money. Uh, in, in a bank account and it's, you know, there's, there's 50 grand in there and it's earned 110,000, uh, sorry, it's heard, heard, earned 110 pounds in a couple of years. You know, you don't get a lot of money uh, back from the banks. Uh, so you need to find those alternatives. And this is a reasonably good alternative. So we also offer a full concierge service. Now, um, this is very important for people, uh, you know, this, this, this webinar is designed or aimed at people that uh, don't have a great deal of um, 
know, knowledge on these trading platforms, trading knowledge or anything like that, but they want to use or get involved in this liquid market, in this auto trader. So they all need help. And I know Mike's on the call today. He's in Northern Ireland. We've been helping him set up his own Ninja brokerage account, uh, setting up the data for his account, you know, setting up uh, the next step for us is to set up the auto trader software on his Ninja Trader platform. Uh, and then, you know, the three optimized strategies that loaded and made live onto there. And I'll show you what that looks like. I don't want to get too technical. Um, the concierge also rolls over and Damien on the call today is the concierge. So um, he rolls over any futures contracts. Um, uh, you get direct access to Damien via his personal WhatsApp as well for any queries during the whole year, really. So all setups and support can be ducted, conducted by Damien, uh, connecting remotely via TeamViewer to your computer. He's based in Ireland. I'm in southern Spain. So you manage and control your own money. We don't take your money. We don't want your money. It's your own account. There's no money managers, no so-called discretionary fund managers. All you pay us for is the software subscription each month. Okay. I just want to make that very, very clear that we do not ask for any of your money. Okay. You open your own account. You fund your own account. We just give you the software to help, that helps you uh, grow that wealth. So the startup uh, and operating costs with the automated trader, like anything really, um, there's a couple of options, but basically the you, you need a Ninja Trader platform. It's a, it's a trading platform. Uh, and we, you know, lifetime license with us, you can get discounted for $999 and the platform is yours. Uh, you can go for leasing if you wanted to. The concierge service is just once uh, for the year, $240. Uh, and if you don't want that at the end of that first year because you've learned enough from Damien to just operate it yourself, that's fine. That, that's your choice. Um, the expert algo software is 299 bucks a month. Uh, you'll pay data fees to, to the broker, and that's $12 a month. And believe you me, we've got a great deal there for you because that's very cheap. Uh, VPS is optional, but advised that's about 55 bucks a month. So um, you will get charged those commissions that we talked about earlier. And you know, they, those commissions are less if you've got a lifetime license and you've got a lease. But, you know, in, in essence, what you're looking, you're looking at um, commissions of around about for oil, 59 cents on the trade, uh, and then uh, the trade fees, $2.26. So you're always going to get those, those little um, charges. Uh, but on a month-to-month -month basis, basis, it is uh, a very cost-effective way. So... I'm going to go through two examples now with a $10,000 account. And to be honest, if you haven't got $10,000 to start this of your own money, it's really not worth you starting because you need that for the margin. But the, the broker doesn't take it away from you. It just puts that aside when you actually go in uh, for a contract. For example, um, right now on one of my accounts, I'm in micro ES and um, my, an M2K uh, both of those around about $2,000 from that account size is being taken up for those two trades. It's called margin. Um, so, so that's, that's where we are with that. So <clears throat> for a 10K account, this is a, a potential way of, of getting those three instruments going. The micro ES, which is the S&P 500 micro, the, the RTY, uh, which is the Russell, it's one of the... Yeah, it's not the most powerful index in the US, but it's got over 2,000 stocks, so it does move quite well. And then this is micro oil as well. So let's go through what that looks like here. So we're going to probably, you know, with that $2,000 10K account, and look at two contracts of MES. That would need a margin requirement of $2,300. RTY this, MCL that. So you, you know, you're at around about nine, 90% of that. Um, of that total margin, that, that, that um, balance that you've got. And your average monthly profits, and this is the data taken from Ninja Trader, not from us, is around about two and a half thousand dollars. Uh, so when you when we look at that, when we break that down, 
we've got an average monthly cost of $370, which is for the data, the software, and uh, the VPS, if you get it, okay? Uh, so that gives you a net uh, average monthly profit at about $2,181, which isn't bad. 20%, you know, it's pretty good. Um, very, very, um, you know, and if you had a hundred thousand account times all that by ten, your monthly cost will be still three hundred and seventy dollars, uh, and that's that's the most important thing because you can compound that. Now, thirty k accounts, obviously, you're going to be looking at uh, bigger contracts, gold, uh, the Russell again, and the main contract for oil. Uh, you're going to be looking at two contracts of gold, one RTY, one oil. So you're going to have around about 88.4% to be exact of your account balance. Your average monthly should be around about $7,735, which is pretty good. Um, and again, the costs remain the same. Monthly cost $370. Your average monthly PL now is $7,365. So you know, this is where that uh, compounding effect comes in. So even if you start with 10 grand um, at the beginning, after a couple of quarters, uh, you may be up to 30K and you'll be able to increase those contract sizes and increase that monthly profit for the same monthly um, cost. And that's, that's one of the main things now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to escape from that. I'm going to bring one of the servers over. If I can grab hold of it. There it is. Okay, so got a couple of trades on at the moment. I mean, I didn't, you know, <laughs> it didn't really uh, look for this to happen, but uh, this is 6B, the short. This is the British pound on the short. So this was taken in uh, at, at this, this level here at this time automatically, okay? Uh, just at this point here, this is uh, around about $325 in profit right now. Um, it automatically takes it in, it puts a profit uh, target in there, but you see this stop, it started all the way up here. It's starting to adjust it automatically and it puts those orders automatically on the system. Uh, so every time a candle closes, it adjusts that. So what it does is reduces your risk each time. Now. We've also got another trade open, RTY at the moment. Now, this is an aggressive strategy. So this one, this was the entry at this point. It's around $395 profit right now. But the see how the trading stop now is actually locking in profit. So if that comes against me now, it'll take out that trading stop and take that profit. Okay. Uh, and that's how it works. It does it automatically. So it sees the signal. It works out if it's in the right position and there's lots of filters behind and you don't need to worry about any of that. It takes it in the position automatically and then adjusts this trailing stop as it goes on, unless it hits the, the, the profit target right there. Okay. Uh, and that's as simple as it works. RTY is one of the ones that... Uh, you know, we we put on with most people, uh, or, or we would say to use um, on your on your account. It's a very very good mover. We did have an earlier trade on um, on natural gas as well. Uh, that worked out very very well. Um, so you know we. You know this one you can see there's two contracts on 6b one contract on rty total profit there at the moment 737 dollars okay so you can imagine if you've got this on your 10 uh, your 10k account this is just one day okay and you do get drawdown so what i want to do right now is this is the ninja this is our software on top of the ninja trader platform so when I right click here and I click this strategy performance report, this strategy performance report is generated by Ninja Trader. It looks back. Oh, I've only done it to 2022. <laughs> okay, um, so it's only gone back from the 20 from the 27th of um, January this year to the 29th of March it's made $15,000 profit, okay? 
They're the commissions that I've paid. So I've paid $956 uh, commissions. Um, more importantly, we go down here. You know, average winning trade is $228. The average losing trade is $72. So you can see here, it, you know, what the average win to average loss ratio is over three. So, you know, you'd have to lose three to, to take away all of that average win. I mean, the average win tra winning trade is $228 on this report, but right now we're $390 on this current trade and the trailing stop is very tight as you can see where this is here. And it may stop and take out the profit automatically while we're live. Um, but, you know, this is, this, this is, this is real, okay? Um, this is the time, total number of trades, 196. Uh, we're only 50% profitable. And, 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 and some, of, some of you say, well, why, why would I enter something that's only 50% profitable? Because the profit factor is over three. The, the average win to average loss ratio is over three. So you've got to look at, um, you know, average trades per day, the average trade, uh, you know, the average winning trade, the average losing trade. So even if you're 50 50 and you win 228 on average and you lose 72 on average, you're still going to make the money. RTY is going back up there. So $460 now. Okay. So at this moment in time, it's holding on. It's not quite reached the target yet. And then, you know, we look at average uh, profit per month uh, so far, seven seven thousand six hundred seventy three dollars, and that's that that report. When I look at six B, that's six E. That's not not six B. Six B. So this is the British pound. We're in this short at the moment. Three hundred fifty dollars to the good. Uh, it's a lot. It, what we call a time frame. So every candle is twelve minutes, whereas it's three minutes on that on that RTY. So this is a lot slower burn, and you've got to think now that um, currency futures, for example, have really slowed down because Europeans gone to bed, sort of thing, and there's nobody really trading that anymore. So we have that uh, effect where it's gone pretty flat now. And one of the things you can do with this, if you see and you don't want to carry it overnight, you can just click flatten if you wanted to and take that profit right now. Let's have a look at the performance report. Again, not generated by me. This is the Ninja Trader. Let's hit the strategy performance report here. I haven't looked at this for a while, actually. Uh, so this has only made $688 since the 27th of January. Uh, currencies don't trade as often as, um, you know, as, as there's only been 23 trades, but we've been profitable, okay? The average winning trade, $349, average losing trade, $140. So again, it's, it's that exposure to different types of market. This is a currency. RTY is a stock index, and this is going to hit target very soon and take profit. Um, and I think the M2K already did. Yes. <laughs> okay. So the M2K is like um, it's what we call a, a micro uh, futures, uh, and that's already hit target. I'll bring that over in a minute. Um, but again, this this is adjusting that trailing stop, and it's you know what we do is we we use a bit of software that um, tries helps to identify. It's like machine learning. The best times of the day to trade, the best day to trade a week, uh, the you know, and all of the parameters that we use to set up this auto trader, and one of those includes the average uh, point in which we take that profit. Okay, it, it's very close now. With as a percentage wise, that's very very close, uh, and that's what we look to do. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring over the other account, which is a smaller account. Just to show you, the M2K is the what we call the micro of there, but it doesn't matter. The main thing is it's hit its target and it's taken the profit. Okay, it's hit the and it's taken the profit automatically. There was another trade on now that that DAX that I talked about earlier. That's only just RTY's just hit the profit target, guys, uh, and taken the profit. I'll bring that back over in a minute. So 
With this one, it, we've only just gone into this FDXS, um, and you know this is this is the the entry at this point here. This is where that trading stop is for now, uh, and it will adjust with it automatically. Actually, yesterday this trade was very similar. Took us in here, took the profit here in the morning. I took it this morning. Okay. Uh, so again, very, very useful to see that these happening are live and they're totally automatic. Okay, um, let's move that across. Let's bring back RTY and then I will start to answer questions. So I'll just bring that one across. So although it looks like it's on my computer, it's actually on a server. Uh, okay, so there, talk it, uh, target hit, job's good. Okay, only one trade left on this account, and that's the 6B. Going pretty, pretty flat right now. Um, you know, if this continues to move, um, what will happen is that will continue and make that risk free. But I want to do right now to show you that if you are happy with that profit, I mean, the RTY made about six, seven hundred dollars there. Um, you know, this, this would make it over a thousand dollars. You could just hit the flatten. Order filled. Order filled. It's taken the profit. Okay, it's that simple. Or you could just let it run. Um, and the, the, they are designed to run automatically. Uh, but for me, I just wanted to show you that functionality there. Okay, so the best thing for us to do now is for you to ask your questions. Has anybody got any questions? I, I will, uh, you can unmute yourself and ask those questions. Let me just pull that back up just in case you've got something on the performance report. <clears throat> Hi, Mike. Hello, Paul, how are things? Very good. We've had our third sandstorm, I think. So we, we, we're still starting the big cleanup, I think. Uh, Thursday, because I'm playing golf tomorrow. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I have a question. Um, in my experience of trading, the there are costs incurred, commissions incurred, entering and exiting a trade. Yeah. So are those taken into consideration by the bot, or do we have to pay those uh, after the event? No, they're all taken into consideration. So when you saw those trades closed, uh, that profit that you saw was actually the profit after the commissions. Yeah. So it, it's all done automatically. So what you're left with is the, the net profit. Okay, thank you. And they're, they're, I mean, to be honest, though, those are they're not overly large. Okay, uh, you know, it's not like buying a house or buying uh, a load of stocks or something like that. It, the, the, you know, for for that RTY trade, probably paid about five or six dollars um, profit. But you know, RTY made over seven hundred dollars there. So um, you know, that that's just the the cost. But it's all done automatically. You won't get a bill for it afterwards. It's all worked out. It's done. It's closed, and that order is done. And another question. Um... Whenever, whenever the uh, trades are initiated and exited, will you get um, a, a, an email or some sort of notification to tell you that a trade has been entered and then filled, or it's a live trade at that time? And also, no, you, does no, it you tell don't. you when you. Um, right. Okay, so you look it up. You you can have that server running on your laptop if you wanted to. Or every day, Ninja Trader sends you a statement with your winners and losers and, and, and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, what we can't do is be, remember we built this software on top of uh, a you know a very complex trading platform, um, but we can't send alerts via that platform. And one of the things, the reasons why we can't do it is for data protection, believe it or not, <laughs> because. Yeah. You're renting this software off us, but actually it's a Ninja Trader platform. So you've opened that account with Ninja Trader. We can't send an alert to your email or anything from our software because we don't know your details. Yes. It's, it's crazy, but it's yeah. one of those things. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. 
Uh, and one thing to say is, we, you know, when we, we see this RT wine, it's hit target and it's gone beyond there, we don't cry over spilt milk. What we look back and when we optimize is we look back over the last two years and we say, this is the optimized place to take that profit. Yeah. Uh, not 10 ticks below, not 10 ticks above. When we, we run some very, very complex software, um, I mean, it's not just actually to, um, on, on the, the reports, we, we use a, this software here, for example. And I'm going to show you this uh, in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly... Um, I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to add a file and hopefully I'll be able to find one that's reasonably uh, recent. I've just got to find one with trades on because what we do is, um, okay, so what we do is we, we, from that performance report, we export all of the trades because on the performance report here, for RTY, for example, when we run that performance report from, from Ninja Trader, what it does is also um, gives us uh, the ability to download every single trade that it took over the last two years or five years or whatever it is. Okay. And we can we go onto those trades and it on the reports that we generate, it gives you every single trade. Okay. So these that's every trade. The red are in lo the losers, the white are winners. Okay. We download those and we put them through this report. And then this is optimized, so this is good. We can see the equity curve. We can see that on weekdays now we're profitable every day. And the hours, slight loss there uh, in that particular hour of the day. But these are the, you know, these are the times. So when we optimize this, we say to the algo, don't trade between 4.30 a.m. and 7 a.m. OK, EST, don't it's not worth the risk to trade uh, between four and six p.m. And we set that up. OK, and that's how we do that. So when we then look at um, performance reports and I'm going to bring the other one over because that's got a longer data set on it. Uh, so when I look at the uh, performance report of FDXS, for example, and we, we can look at the equity curve and we put those in all our reports as well. Um, but when we look at this analysis, this is very, very important to understand. So overall, over that two year period, we've gone from zero to six and a half thousand dollars. OK, which is good growth. But during that time, we lost a little or we went flat here. So we went flat here from the 17th of December until the 27th of December. So we had a 10 day flat period and then it went straight up. Can you see that? And then we went flat for a, a couple of days and then we had a nice growth. Then we pulled back a little bit here. So we, we got what we call drawdowns. So we've got to stand back and look at this and say, actually, yes, that was a very big flat period there. Obviously something going off, but Overall, started with zero, six and a half thousand dollars um, for that particular, um, you know, that particular instrument, if you like. Uh, so that that helps us to, to, to not to panic on a daily basis to look for that overall growth. Um, we go to uh, M2K. OK, this is the one that hit the target today as well. Um, so we go to strategy performance report here. Now, this will be a slightly smoother curve, OK, purely because uh, the, the time frame that we use for this auto trade is, is quite a bit smaller. So when we look at this analysis and the, the curve, we can see there are drawdown periods. And there are flat periods, but there's a, there's a lot more trades. They, you know, it's not exactly high frequency trading, it's what we call scalping. But you can see that growth from zero to over $17,000 in two years. And that's a smoother curve. 
So when you look uh, on the website for, for what you want to include in your auto trader, those pre sort of um, predetermined strategies that we've already put together, um, you, you've got to look at those curves as well. You've got to look at uh, some of the summary points as well. So what's, you know, what's the average profit per month? $641, about four and a half trades a day. Okay. Average winning trade, only $18. Average losing trade, $5.80. But you're getting on average five, nearly five trades a day. Um, and you've got to think that's what, you know, if you've only got a 10K account, M2K um, is a really good option um, because it's steady. Okay. It's got a great curve. And that's how we, you know, that's how we look at those and that's how we determine those. So when we go to the website, I'll bring that over in a second. Just move that out of the way. So, Ninja Trader is the one we want. Uh, just stop my ugly voice. So, so, when we look at gold, we see the profit factor. We can see the equity curve for each one here. Uh, MES, great equity curve there. Um, you know, the ES scalping, the oil. Um, you know, when we click on download report, we go to this point, fill in our details, download the performance report, click to download, and there it appears. Okay, so you, that helps you make your choice. So we know on oil, in the last two years and a couple of months, the net profit's been $132,000. That's the profit factor. There's my drawdowns. There's my uh, profitable trades of 56%. Uh, winning trades, 1,220. Losing trades, 940. Uh, average winning trade $148, average losing trade $51. Um, you know, and this, what we do is we take that data from Ninja Trader. It's not our data. Ninja Trader looks at it and gives us a performance report. And then we put it into that software that I just showed you, and it generates these reports for us. Um, you know, it even actually lists every, you know, the weekdays uh, where it's performing the hours it's performing, uh, with how the longs and shorts going, and it lists every single trade over the last two years as well. So it's all in there for people to do their homework. Okay, so that's that. Uh, anybody got any more questions for me? You, you, you know, it, this for some of you, it could be totally new, um, but, you know, I'm here to, to answer any of those questions. Um, I will put in the, in the, the, the recording of this video, I'll put the links into to the website um, to so you can uh, take a look. And also I'll put it in the chat right now for you guys to. to take a look. Uh, Paul, I, Paul I, have, I have another question, if I could. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Um, from what you've explained, um, obviously it's an automated trading system. So the the frequency of the of the trades, I presume, depends on the instrument you're using. But um, you said about there'll be days whenever there might be no trades, and other days where there might be two trades or maybe even three on at the one time. Um, there, there's no rhyme, no reason to that. I presume it's just whatever the market provides. It's, the bot. Yeah, it's just market behavior. So it used to be when Mr. Trump was in power, he put a tweet out and markets would go one, all one way. <laughs> so um, that's a very simplistic version, but it, it depends on, um, on the instrument. So when we saw those ones before, the British pound was going down as RTY was going up. And that is a normal, what we call correlation, because um, the, the British pound obviously losing strength against the US dollar. The US dollar is getting stronger because that index in the USA is going up. So we get those correlations and that exposure to different markets is key to be able to get both sides of that news event or that data event that makes the markets move. Now, if there's a really flat period, it's, it's because there's no real data or news that comes out to make the markets move. Now, and, and the markets moving could be anything. It, it could be um, Tesla CEO um, saying he's going to dump, you know, a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin or something. You know, there's, there's lots of catalysts for movements in the markets. 
And unless you're full time in front of the screens and understanding what's going off, you're never going to catch them. So what the expert algo does is my trading brain into an algorithm. It looks for a predetermined set of rules to be met uh, for a six star buy, for example, that we saw earlier on RTY. 12 points of um, control have to be met before we even print that six star buy. Then if I just bring it over a second again, because I want to explain, I'm not going to go through all the filters because it will get extremely complicated and it's not what, what today's about. But this six star buy comes in at this point here, 12 points of control before it even prints. OK, then we measure how far it is from the last pivot. If it's more than what we say our max risk is going to be within the algorithm, it doesn't take the trade. OK. Uh, and then we talk about, uh, you know, there's about 20, 21 other filters that allows us that the algorithm then on top of that 12 to actually get into that trade and then to manage that trade. So behind the scenes, it's quite complex. Uh, and, you know, my brain, my wife says it is a very complex thing anyway. Um, and, you know, it basically mimics what what I would do. Uh, and, you know, best way in the world, you won't get all winners and you'll get those drawdown periods and those flat down periods. And that's to be expected. But overall, when you step back and look at those equity curves, you've got to see there is growth. It doesn't take the brains of a rocket scientist to look at that data that's provided by that third party billion dollar broker that we've built our software on top. They look at all those trades the last two years and they produce that equity curve and that data. Um, so, you know, you have to be prepared. And, you know, recently we've had a couple of days where, you know, we've had some drawdowns and that's that happens because, you know, the best run in the world, they just don't run. They just get tipped in and they just don't run, come down. But we have those stops in place and those trading stops to minimize that risk. Then all of a sudden today started off pretty pretty poorly uh we we're trying to probe those push you know those those particular trades and they just weren't running okay uh then all of a sudden boom we got a runner on 6b m2k rty and now fdx is in profit so you know <clears throat> but you can't be around for that so the, this alternative type of um sort of wealth growth strategy that we are that we are now able to, you know, to to get anybody to access um, is, uh, you know, it's there. It's it's a it's a liquid market. It's um, there's there's always risk with everything. But what we try and do is mitigate that risk with those automated training stops, uh, with those filters to say no, the risk is too big. We're not taking the trade, um, and because manually when people are trading or investing uh, they will talk themselves into taking that trade the algorithm has got no emotion it follows a set of rules if the risk is too big it will not take the trade it's as simple as that okay any more questions right now If you don't want to speak out on the microphone, you can put it in the chats on the, in the chat here. Click everybody and type in your questions there. Uh, if not, I think we we've done forty five minutes, which is pretty cool. So, anybody got any more questions before I go? Um, any questions to Damien? Damien is uh, the 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 technical guy, the, the guy that runs the concierge for you is he's, he's your point of contact for for everything really once you if you start um so any more questions for me or damien before i go okay excellent well thank you for turning up today uh, this this has been recorded i think when the recording's done it it automatically sends out but we'll be sending an email out to everybody anyway uh so that's about it i think thank you for coming hey, today Paul, i'm just gonna 
Oh, I'm just going to quickly jump in. Um, sorry, mate. Uh, Damien here. Um, so I'm just putting my email address in the, the chat for everybody. So um, if you anyone, anyone wants to have a, a private conversation uh, and just go through things in a bit more detail, my email address is there. So send me an email and we'll get something set up on Zoom with you. Thanks, Damien. Damien at globaltradingsoftware.com. Very, very simple. Okay, thanks everybody for turning up. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll speak to you all really soon, hopefully.